Hi, everybody. I'm Leather Rock. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to do a bit of a, a scavenger hunt where I'm going to show you. This is one of the things that I found the other day. Uh, those of you who know more about Indian clothes maybe could tell me what this is. Uh, this, what I don't understand with some of these garments the most beautiful parts of it are very close to the hemline, and you can see how long this hemline is, but if you want to see the detail, let me show you. And I also found that a pair of khaki-colored dungarees went perfectly underneath it, as far as a pant that is very close to this color. But look at the detail on this. Is this not absolutely stunning? I'd really like to know more about this, uh, if this is a lehenga, or what exactly this is called. I'm going to step a little bit back away from this. And this necklace is from my mother. And this necklace here that I absolutely adore, believe it or not, I got at the closest 99 cent store. It is a Hamza hand. And it looks like it's made of gold, but I assure you it's not, but it's never tarnished. I did coat it with clear nail polish. That's a real good idea to uh, do. But I wore these, uh, just a pair of dungarees with this because I thought the color match was so perfect. But I really wish that I could do this shorter, but you know how hard it would be to hem this without breaking up the fabric. It doesn't have any seams or anything. But let me show you what else I got. Oh, but before I do that, do you mind if I pour myself a cup of coffee? I'm really thirsty. I am just so thirsty. I'm in such a good mood. I just came uh, back from visiting a friend of mine who uh, lives in the neighborhood, and he's a deadhead. And he called me up and he said, do you want to come over and uh, we do some in inhalation of smoke and uh, listen to some music? And he put on uh, some Grateful Dead and it was just, you know, happy music. And it was, uh, and I picked something out of the garden. Got a nice big scallion here and mmm, smells real good. So, uh, there's some coffee here that I figured out I could put two sweet and lows or I could put one sweet and low and one nice spoonful of coffee, I, I mean of honey. And this is, was sent to my mother as for, for part of her birthday uh, package from some aunts and uncles. And this says Nate, Nature Nate's Honey Company. At least I think that's where she got it from. But anyway, this is raw and it's unfiltered. And it's so much better than the honey packets that you might get at the 7-Eleven, you know. That honey tastes totally different. It's, uh, it's much darker and it almost has a little bit of a molasses flavor to it that maybe is okay for some things, but I find it, I find it absolutely obnoxious in tea. But this honey, I could do it. I really am thirsty and I want some coffee. Mm. Oh. All right. So, in no particular order. Now, this top you have already seen because this was one of the first things that I actually washed. And I wore this in a video, uh, what was the subject matter? It may have been in another scavenging video, but uh, unfortunately, another uh, top that I got that was also leopard print, it's made of merino wool, and I have an allergy to wool. It just itches me in the worst way, so I'm going to re-gift that. But this, I really like how it fits. It's got a slight peplum on it, but it's not too baggy. I mean, I don't usually go for baggy clothes anyway, but uh, I love the color match. It goes with so many of my other leopard prints. Now here, 
absolutely cute pair of shorts. This would be perfect for Valentine's Day. I love the purple, and it's got all these different colored hearts, and it's made of that terry cloth kind of material. It's nice and soft and cuddly. And the label on it, I can't really see the, um, the printing here, so I don't know what to tell you, but they look like they're comfortable, and they're uh, a little on the big side, but that's okay because you want comfort. They're supposed to be, I guess, pajama bottoms. Even though for shorts, and I would think more of a summer thing, I can't imagine that kind of material. But then maybe, I don't know. But anyway, they're shorts and they're purple, and why not, right? So, this, maybe some of you guys can tell me what it is. This looks like a Japanese anime character of some kind, or a cartoon, and it's obviously a cat. And you know me and cats. But, uh, I, and it looks like he's got a container of uh, soda and a straw, and like some kind of fountain drink. And the back, it's a different pattern. It's uh, smaller images of him, assuming it's a boy. Oh, okay, the little, little thing here. Okay, it's just they're smaller versions of what you saw in the front. So this is the back, and this is the front, and this is a little sleep shirt that my mom was kind of looking at that, but I actually found something for her, and toward the end of this video, I'll show you what I got for her out of this because there's a certain kind of a uh, house dress that she likes that's it's one of these uh, they sell them on the boardwalk here but they keep on up in the price a little but they're the best ones are made of cotton so even though they take a little while to dry they're much more comfortable and practical when you're sweating in the summertime and you don't have air conditioning and there's nothing like cotton and she she can wear them for a good two weeks before i go and wash them so hey you try washing stuff by hand I probably, I should probably get the step stool because I don't want a problem here. Here it is. I had it out in the hallway. I'm really glad I got these metal things. They don't take up a lot of space. They'll be easy to move. I could certainly have them in my bus when I get it. Uh, I could take them with me to gigs maybe when I need it. They're great for the set. Okay. One of the things here... My mother thinks this is a man's thing. And it looks like, like kind of like, remember the dashikis? They, that was kind of big in the 70s. This is another thing. You know what? I'm going to put it on. Oh, before I put this on, I want you to see the uh, label behind there. It says uh, Alisha. La well, I'll let you guys take a look at this. And uh, it looks like an XXL or triple XL shirt okay. Okay. that's what it looks under these dungarees uh, I don't know 
if it would be possible to wear this. Uh, I guess you could, in theory, wear this without anything under it, but then it would just be really, really, I mean, you don't really think of a slip that high unless you're going to the Academy Awards or something, and then I would think only one side, so. Uh, but at least this isn't as long. And I wonder if it wouldn't look better if it were, like, tailored or something, or if it's better for it to be loosely like this. Uh, I would really like some input in this. Now, if I ever get a chance to go to India or Bangladesh or Afghanistan or something, maybe I got some clothes. Oh man, I'm so thirsty. Thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. So I want to give you a close up look at the details on this. These, this can fasten all the way. And I really love these stand up collars. And this is what the uh, cuffs look like, the sleeves. And uh, I like the color. And I would like to learn about the significance of the different colors. I know within like Hindu temples and stuff, the Iskaran monks, they wear saffron colored robes. And that's when they go through a certain, after they, they go through a certain initiation. And it, it's a complicated process that I'm not going to try to explain to you, but they uh, take a vow that they're going to follow the four uh, regulatory principles. And it includes, uh, they're not allowed to gamble. They're not allowed to use intoxicants. They're not allowed to have sex in any form, except for very limited circumstances when they're married, and that's when the intent is to uh, create a Krishna conscious child. But other than that, they don't get involved with anything that uh, causes you to have too much attention, uh, attachment to Maya. So they try to limit your uh, pursuit in any kind of pleasure or anything. So it's a very austere um, role that the devotees uh, subscribe to, but they wear robes that are not quite this bright orange, but they're kind of like a peachy color. So, uh, but this looks like it would really help to keep you cool in the summertime because it's kind of got a denseness to the uh, weave. And it's very roomy. This, that by the way, my mother thought was absolutely hideous. She didn't find it attractive at all. She didn't understand why you would have a tie-dye like this along with this, when at least the color that's used, the green is the same, it's on this. And uh, I don't know, now for this, I don't, <clears throat> okay, before I risk not putting the pants on, I'll go ahead and I'll, Try this on over these pants, and let's see what this looks like. I didn't know that I was going to end up doing a fashion show for you guys. I'm just, let me see how tall, how long this is. These are such long, 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 long garments. And again, the slit goes up to about here. And you figure my garter belts and my stockings, my garter belts typically hit to around here. So I don't know how I feel about the aesthetics of having just the bare leg with the garter belt and the stockings hanging out. But then again, you know, why can't I make the style my own in some way? Why can't I, especially since this doesn't have a real elaborate uh, hem, why can't I just take this up some inches to make it more flattering? Or maybe, I don't know, it might be too slim fitting to do this, or if I could sew this up more. I'm thinking that these garments have potential that's even more than how they're originally supposed to be worn, you know? So let me try this on. But you know what? Before I do that, my mother is so worried that I'm going to snag these because she even expressed concern that why didn't I shorten them? And usually when I wear her necklace, I shorten it up, I double it. 
But I thought since I'm wearing things that have very long lines, I thought that it kind of made sense to have longer lines also because so much of fashion involves playing with proportion. So, see, this is usually what I do with this. And again, it's not real gold, but it's never tarnished in all the decades that she's had it. I think I'm going to take this off right now, too, because I don't want it to snag on something. Oh. When I pulled that off, it felt like it snagged some of my hair. I hope it didn't break some off. Okay, I'm going to check this to make sure that it doesn't have a side zipper. Because sometimes these dresses do. Especially the ones that seem like they're more form-fitting. Okay, I don't see a zipper. Okay, I seem to be having a problem getting this over my head. Do you guys think this might be too small? Huh. Okay, I'm going to try this one more time. Oh, okay. You know what? This may be just a little bit hard for me to get on. God damn it. So, what I'm thinking I might do, I might do some uh, cutting and sewing and some different things with that. Oh boy. That's kind of a bummer. All right, let's see about this one. This looks like it might be a little bit bigger, so let's see. These don't have any stretch to them at all. <sighs> and you know, I should have, I should have grabbed my beads and put them out of this first. Oh, there went some more beads. What do you mean? Okay. What do you think? Now this I can get behind. And I like how it opens up and you see the legs out. And I think a trouser like this would work. Or I think a red uh, trouser would work. And I have spandex. So rather than go for the baggy thing, which I don't really find to be an attractive silhouette. I mean, on some people, yes, 
It is. I like this. What do you guys think? Let's get a close up look. Ooh. Okay, I, of course, I wonder if I'm going to have a little, wee little bit of problems getting it, taking this off. So, you know what? Maybe I'm not going to do any more clothing changes for the rest of this video, okay? The uh, last thing I want to do is to smear makeup all over this and, you know, end up f uh, filming kind of ugly. I don't want to do that if I don't have to. Let me have some more coffee. Mm. Plus, I have some more things to show you besides just clothes, okay? Now, this... Check out this gown. This gown looks like it's for somebody that's much taller than myself, okay? Uh, I don't want to let the bottom of it get on the floor. I don't. Uh, there's no way I want to do that. But you see where the shoulders would be. Okay, I'm going to stand. This gives me a foot off the ground. Okay, I'm going to put my shoulders here. Kind of where. And you can see I got, I'm not touching the ground there, but that's for, this would definitely be about hitting the floor if I wore it. Alright, so I'm not going to try it on in this house. But I'm going to give you guys a close-up of this. Oh, and this is a, 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 a much larger size, too. This says 40. And the tag on it says Vogue. Yeah. And uh, interesting, the colors here and the drapey, the drapiness here and the really big faux pearls and uh, so it's nice and drapey and the bodice is flat but in the front here you see the uh, embroidery detail and it feels heavy the, the embroidery part and uh, I don't know whether this would be kind of evoking Grecian or what era this would be or even where uh, when it was made I don't know it's definitely vintage and uh, and those colors that you wouldn't necessarily think go together but uh, then that'll give you some leeway in, in how you accessorize this you know the kind of jewelry but anyway you can never have too many gowns you can never have too much formal hair you can never have too many options I'm going to try not to step in that water bowl from the cats that I bring in my house that never want to drink the water because they're idiots. Okay, so like I said, it's not just clothes that I found. While I'm scavenging around, I found myself a new little friend and I don't have to feed him. And he's a little harbor seal. And I have a thing for walruses and seals and sea lions I just think they have the most precious little faces and this is actually I didn't I didn't know that they used anybody but bears in the coca-cola campaign so this is a collectible unfortunately somebody took the tags that would have proven it was a collectible but I just washed him with hot soapy wadi water so he's nice and clean and I'm gonna put him in that same canister that has some other stuffed animals in it so it will be protected from anything that could infest anything or whatever so got that then I found this cut crystal vase it's not in a hundred percent perfect condition it's got a tiny little chip there but other than that and I cleaned it up real good and if you look at it it looks like it's a school of fish and leaves I think that's really neat and you could tell it's crystal because the way it sounds. But there's another reason why I'm really glad I have it. I have some things that will go really well with it. I have these glasses. Okay. That I really like to drink juice out of or anything. Even iced tea. And I have a set of plates. Somebody literally left uh, in a box 
up the street about four years ago. I love them. Love, love, love. I've always loved facet crystal cut crystal and stuff, whether it's Baccarat or whatever it is. And this, it, what it has etched in it, it says K-I-M, made in Indonesia. All right. And I have two of these. I believe one of them is from something that was given to my mother that had candies in it or something. You know, these are great to put floating candles in. They're great for little, hat, little tiny flower arrangements. It's great for hors d'oeuvres. It's great for so many things. Oh. This was like an incidental... This is a gardening glove, and unfortunately there's only one of them. But have you ever seen a gardening glove that had was pink and had all the details on it? And uh, also, usually when I get gardening gloves, they give them free for different things, and they're always way too big. This actually kind of fits. All right, but I want to show you the dress that I found from my mom. So don't go anywhere. Thank you for waiting around. Uh, my mother, by the way, she says this is definitely a keeper. So this is what I got from my mother. The colors are not bright, cheerful, happy colors, but, um, I mean, tie-dye is still a tie-dye, right? But this is a total comfortable style that she likes. It allows for air when you're stuck in a stifling house and all you have is fans to keep you cool. And, uh, you know, cotton is where it's at. And also, this will be more forgiving if she spills coffee on herself or she wears her chili or whatever. It's, you know, what happens. Yeah. And these are the colors. It's really interesting. You've got some, like, a muted teal, and you've got a, a lavender, and you've got, like, a very pale tan. And this here is, like, a almost a plum brown color so but this is a very oh and look at the uh, embroidery detail on the neckline it's only on one side so I guess it would be technically reversible because the front and the back is perfectly indistinguishable except for maybe there's a tag on one side you know what if this ever had a tag it doesn't now so but you know those tags usually itch a person anyway so uh, all right put this over there. So what do you guys think? Weren't those some neat finds? Things that people discard. And I'm thinking, what a damn waste. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to show you. Uh, I thought I really lucked out. Um, now, not all the stuff was all in the same place. A lot of it was, but this, believe it or not, I found balled up on one of the main streets. And it was like, and it kind of had a lot of sand on it. And I know what soap and hot water is, okay? And even though when you're washing bigger things, it's kind of a bit of a pain in the ass, but I know what a bathtub is for. And we have a shower that goes over the bathtub, and, you know, I got it done. And uh, might be a couple of years, but I'll have reasons to wear even something like this. And if I decide it really is way too big for me and I can't even belt it or whatever, maybe I'll pass it on. You know? So, found fashion. You know, it's out there. And I think if you have a chance to do it, maybe you do it too. The price is definitely right. Uh, Alright, if there's not... See, I'm so afraid I'm going to end this video and find out that there's something else that I wanted to show you that I didn't get to. But, okay, I guess that's it. So... Glad you, hope you enjoyed the fashion show, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.